Can I have a transparent moment with you for a second? I made a promise to God that if he answered this particular prayer that I prayed, I was going to testify and share it with you guys. So listen, when God is trying to get your attention, you have to pay attention. Let me say this again for the people in the back. When God is trying to get your attention, you have to pay attention. Because I almost missed out on what God was telling me. This was something the enemy was trying to orchestrate in my life that God was trying to prepare me for. God gave me two signs in a dream warning me that this particular person was going to betray me and attack me. The first sign was when I was in a car riding on this sunny day. I had my two children with me. Then out of nowhere, the sun went down and a bad storm came my way. I remember seeing this tornado heading straight in my direction, coming straight towards me at full speed. The next thing I knew, my car got twisted up in the storm and I was on my feet running away in the opposite direction of the storm with my two children. I lost everything. My kids somehow got separated away from me and I panicked. Then somehow we all got back together again and when we were all running together, I remember seeing this great big house, this brick house. Growing up, my dad always told me that brick was strong. So we hid behind this brick house. I was holding my kids real tight. Then the storm went away and we survived it. Get this. That same night, I had another dream. This was my second sign that was connected to the first dream. In the second dream, God revealed to me where I was climbing on the side of a mountain and reach and ask this particular relative who I thought loved me to help me down. Do y'all know that this particular relative left me hanging and walked away and left me stranded on the mountain? So God showed me in advance that this particular person was going to betray you before it even happened. So I was prepared for the attacks. But what I wasn't prepared for was losing my father. That was one thing that I did not see in the storm and I couldn't understand why. So I immediately began to pray, looking for answers. As I began to do my research, I came across these three words, spiritual warfare, spiritual awakening, and the word chosen. That's when I realized that I had spiritual gifts. So I studied it so I could understand what in the world was happening in my life. Then it clicked. God was speaking to me. I've always believed in God, but my faith wasn't strong enough in the past. So God didn't feel like I was ready. I had no idea how God spoke to us, but after I discovered what I was dealing with, I started strengthening my faith. I started praying more because I wanted to get closer to God because losing my father was tough for me. That's the only person in my family that genuinely cared about me and I knew they had my best interests at heart. That was my best friend. Me and my father were so close that our birthday is on the same day. The moral of the story is... Everything the enemy tried to use to attack me with my family as far as the betrayals, the loss, and all the other hell he tried to cause in my life, I survived it all because God blocked it. See, what the people that came against me did not know was that God was hiding me in plain sight. He wanted me to see the wickedness of the people's hearts who came up against me. God revealed to me that I was a chosen one and already had me fully equipped and prepared before they even tried to attack me. God instructed me to be silent, do not respond, do not engage, because this battle belongs to the Lord. That's when I began to let go and let God, because I've tried to be in control of things all my life. But the message that came from God was that I already blocked it. You cannot be in control because this is bigger than you. I'm in control and I'm going to act on your behalf. So just sit back, my child, and let me handle this for you. And I promise something good is coming out of this. Trust me, says the Lord. If this message resonated with you, let me know in the comments. This was very touching for me. And usually I don't share testimonials because a lot of people in the past, some people think that, you know, when you dream, you're crazy. But I want to let you know that you're not crazy. When God is giving you a message, he wants you to bring awareness to try to help those around you. Because a lot of people are still asleep and they don't understand what's going on. But I'm here to bring awareness to what's going on because it has to stop. And I just want to say this before I close it. Stop trying to control everything and let God handle it. That's why I had to learn. You cannot control everything because it was bigger than me. 
Had I would have stopped trying to be in control, I would have been able to see this a long time ago. But I'm so glad that God awakened me so that I can awaken you. If this message resonated with you, let me know in the comments. Thank you for listening.